Hello, welcome to the pupillary light reflex presentation. At the end of this presentation, you should be able to discuss the mechanism of constriction of pupil in the pupillary light reflex of the eyes. So what is light reflex? When light is directed into one eye, it leads to constriction of pupil of the same eye, which is called as the direct light reflex, as well as there is will be constriction of the pupil of the opposite eye too, and this is called as the indirect or the consensual light reflex. This picture shows how to elicit the light reflex by shining a flashlight into one eye while bridging with the palm in the opposite eye. And when this is done, this is how the reaction will be seen. Not only does the pupil of the eye in which the light is directed constricts, but also you find that there will be constriction of the opposite eye too. This picture explains the pupillary light reflex. On the left side, you find the direct light reflex. On the right side, you find the consensual light reflex. The above diagram part of the diagram shows the pupils are dilated uh, due to the less light and when light is sh shined into the eye you find there is constriction of both the eyes, the direct as well as the consensual or the contralateral pupil undergoing constriction. Now let us look at the light reflex pathway. This diagram shows the visual pathway and we will discuss about the light reflex pathway. When we shine light into one eye, we find that this light is going to go and stimulate the retina and the axons of the ganglion cells are going to carry the impulses along the optic nerve, pass through the optic chiasm and then come out as the optic tract and then they go into the midbrain area into the pretectal nucleus. That is where the first order neuron stops. The next order neuron From there, the pretectal nucleus goes into the midbrain Edinger Westphal nucleus of both the sides, the left as well as the right. And then from here, the efferent pathway <coughs> the efferent pathway will be passing through the oculomotor nerves to the ciliary ganglia. As you can see in this diagram and then from there the short ciliary nerves carry the impulses to the sphincter pupillae and bring about constriction in the two eyes and this is called as the light reflex. The same light reflex pathway can be explained with the flow chart. Say light is directed into the left eye. This information or the impulses are carried along the optic nerve, through the optic chiasm, through the optic tract, to the pretectal nucleus. 
that's where the first order neuron ends and when the second order neuron now carries the impulses to the edinger westphal nucleus of both the sides the left as well as the right and then from there the third order neuron the efferent pathway will be going through the oculomotor nerve to the ciliary ganglia once it relays it to the ciliary ganglia via the short ciliary nerves it will be going to the constrictor pupillae of the left as well as the right eye leading to the direct light reflex as well as the consensual light reflex to summarize the afferent pathways are carried from the retina via the optic nerve the optic chiasm and the optic tract into the pretectal nucleus from there onwards it is conveyed to the edinger westphal nucleus of both the sides then the efferent nerves will pass the impulses via the oculomotor nerve to the ciliary ganglia and the short ciliary nerves will carry the impulses to the constrictor pupillae or the sphincter pupillae and bring about constriction of both the pupils next we need to know what is argyle robertson pupil or argyle robertson pupil this is caused by the syphilis of the central nervous system there will be selective lesions in the midbrain particularly the pretectal nucleus will be damaged and when one does the pupillary light reflex test we find that the light reflex will be absent but you will have the constriction of the pupil in the accommodation reflex and therefore we say accommodation reflex will be present but light reflex will be absent now how do we remember this is argyle robertson pupil the first alphabet of each word a r p accommodation reflex present but light reflex will be absent last but not least pupil of the eyes is the window from the outside world to the retina thank you for watching this presentation we would appreciate any feedback from you thank you